All right, we are back into it. Uh, need a little reminder. Let's see, we had just taken this place, and I found out this wasn't like a real city, so this doesn't really help me. Uh, for anyone just tuning in, this is Village the Cursling. He's a dude with another dude growing out of his back. Front, the guy is like a melee fighter. The back guy's a wizard, so it kind of works out. Uh, he worships Zinch, and we are playing the Warriors of Chaos, which hires kind of normie people. But then you can brand them with chaos and upgrade them into whatever troops you want instead of like and so you can get some high level troops pretty early with that it's it's a cool system i've been enjoying it so far all right you are gonna just chill right there let's see he managed to get a troll from the area uh this this area we're uh, for those who don't know the this map uh called immortal empires loosely resembles earth so like there's sort of south america there's the United States. This is just a weird island that doesn't exist in real life. Um, uh, this is like, you know, sort of Africa. Australia's over here. And so where we're at right now is Cathay, which uh, has something that resembles the Great Wall of China in there. And so we actually just punched through that wall and we're fighting the Cathay people right now. And do I have anything else I need to do this turn before I end my turn? This town is fine. This town is fine. Uh, this guy, I could mutate him. How many souls do I have? I do have plenty of souls. So the question is, do I want to? So this guy, who is this guy? He's a death sorcerer. Um, let's see. I can leave him as a death sorcerer or make him a devotee to Zinch, metal or Zinch. Or wait till he gets level 30 and maybe make him a daemon? You know what? That sounds fun. I haven't seen it. I'm gonna I'm gonna aim to make that guy a demon at level 30 and see what happens. Alright. Uh, and no, I do not wish to touch that. And this guy... Oh, this guy was in charge of stealing research from people. Uh, 43% chance. Yeah, try it. He got a horse. He stole a horse? Okay. He successfully stole some research. All right, and a horse apparently. Uh, let's get specialist. This guy is just stealing research and enter. Uh, I'm proud of a degenerate of kind. Thank you, Jack. Oh God, what? What's happening? She says I'll pay you three thousand dollars to stop killing me. Money's great, but I'm at your capital. I'm gonna say not. Nah. Muck refuses to admit that Iceland exists. Listen, I'm gonna tell you everything I know about Iceland. It's the one that's green. I'm not well cultured about the world, okay? Uh, has Muck watched the Mighty Ducks too? Uh, you mean the the cartoon one or the one with like hockey? Dominance. All right, hold on a sec. Uh, all right, so we we want to go there. Get right up to the edge of the province. Hockey? Uh, I don't recall. Alright, run him over there. Mm. Let's see. Can any of my units... Alright, so this guy, I could grow him into a spawn. Ah, uh, let's do it. All right, so we're gonna mutate him into a giant monster. This guy can be turned into a Forsaken or a Chaos Warrior. Absolutely doing a Chaos Warrior. Give him a Halberd. See, that's an aspiring champion. Why would I wanna make him a spawn? That's a downgrade. That's silliness. Okay, and what about this guy? Could get a Hound. Could get a Marauder. Uh, our income's pretty low. Let's chill on the recruitment. All right, this guy... It's only 26% chance to hit that same place again. Can you hit that one? Yeah, 46 there. Steal their research. What's a Slanish? So, Slanish is... Oh, nice. Successful. Sweet. Okay, so in Warhammer, and in Warhammer 40k both, there are four... Let's say evil gods. All right, I'm 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 condensing this, okay? There's Nurgle. His minions are usually green. They usually look like they've got cancer, and growths, and pus, and disease. And he's the god of disease. And his minions, they like 
spreading disease, it feels good to them. He curses them with that. Then there's corn. Corn is war, uh, blood for the blood god, skulls for the skull throne, ya ya, kill people. Simple stuff. Zinch is the god of change. Uh, Zinch likes to give people extra arms, bird wings, beaks, an extra head, feathers, and lots of magic. I'm playing a guy that is uh, that worships Zinch right now. Um, and then Slanish. Uh, Slanish, the one that you asked about, is the god of indulgence, temptation, debauchery. Like, for example, most of the minions of Slanish in this game are not male or female. They're both. Like, they look like they're female on one half of them and male on the other half. And they usually look like they're, fight they're fighting in, like, dominatrix gear. Uh, they are typically glassy because of that, but they're very, very fast. They're very speedy. The god of a good time? Right. All right, uh, so, okay, he's done, I serve and only the we've, did we use up everybody's movement? Yep, yes, we did. I don't have many troops, and nothing to do there, nothing to do there. Okay, enter. And this uh, blue stuff spreading out from these outposts is um, corruption from... Your little celestial empire. Uh, declare war. This faction has declared war on you. Cool, don't care. Alright, raid the following region, Nanli. Uh, we'll come back to that. Okay, so we want our main person to attack this. Oh, wait, is she outside the city? If she's outside the city, I can hit her, and then the people inside either leave her to die or they run out to help. And I don't have to fight the wolves. Aha, yeah, she just retreated. Okay, alright, and I don't have the movement to reach her now. Alright, alright, alright. Um. Okay. Seize the city. And then I need to move this guy closer. Now, uh, if I do auto, I lose three people. Now, I don't want to do that. Four, actually. I don't want to do that because they gain XP and grow with me. And they level up. So we're going to do a manual battle. Which is something Fairlight's group would not let me do. <laughs> now, the group we're fighting is the Cathay. That are uh, that are inspired by like Asianic uh, cultures. Um, three of their lords can turn into a Chinese dragon and are terrifying because it's a giant dragon ripping through your ranks. I don't think this guy is one of them. I think this is just a mortal lord, so I don't think this will be too bad. How to scare a total war play a multiplayer gamer play manual battle? Right. All right. All right, I got I got to show off my troops here, guys. Okay, so first off, look, this is the town. This is the kind of stuff you never get to see in multiplayer. All right, we got this epic, epic town here. Look at these giant statues, so cool. Uh, I love how you started using a straw for your cola because of the dentist thing, and you just kept it as a habit. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's pretty inexpensive to buy straws, and it's, you know, I just tell myself it helps my teeth. Okay, so our troops. We got a lot of Chaos Knights here. We got some Marauders. Uh, let's move them into the sunlight so we can see them. Hang on. Okay. Alright, so we got some Pink Horrors. They throw fireballs. We got some Armored Trolls we found in the wastes. They regenerate, they're nasty. These are some spawn of Zinch. Uh, notice their faces are like many people's faces glued together. These things are just grotesque. Uh, Chaos Knights, these are my bulky boys. Aspiring Champions, these are not Zinch related yet, maybe later. But right now they're just really, really strong dudes in armor. Chaos Knights with Halberds. Some more Marauders, so they don't have t-shirts yet. We're working on that. Um... These back here are called Flamers. Their arms are basically flamethrowers. They do tons of damage, but they're very fragile. Uh, this is one of my hero units. These are called... these. I think they're called, like, something Disc? Anyway, this surfboard-looking thing is a Zinch thing. It's basically a flying mount. 
And these are one of my favorite units so far. These are called Doom Knights. These are flying Chaos Warriors. They can go right over the wall and, like, hit something in the back. It's wonderful. Okay, so... How do we want to do this? So, first off, let's get everybody together. Let's set some hotkeys. Doom Knights, put those on three. Um, my main man, put him on four. And we can have these guys on two. And then everyone else on one for now. Alright, and then you are going to charge the door. And we're going to do this with those. And we are going to, this is just to kind of mess with the AI a little bit. We're going to send my flying units straight over the wall back there. And they're going to, their attention is going to be split. So I'm going to crank the game speed up because all these troops are just running in and getting shot by arrows right now. And that's just going to take a minute. Okay, and those are my pink horrors of Zinch that are unloading onto the enemy right now and putting a little bit of pressure on them. Uh, let's see. All right, so going to have my flyers uh, try to take out this balloon. This balloon, um, it's, it's a flying gun. It's a gun. Okay, and let's use pink flame. They did not like that. I liked it. They did not like that. Uh, remember earlier I mentioned the flamers are very fragile? I think we're gonna... I think I'm just going to have them withdraw. Actually, wait, 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 wait. There's another way. There's, if they hug the wall, they'll stop getting shot. All right, and let's do this. How are you guys doing? Uh, okay, so they... Oh, they're still fighting the balloon. I thought they were done. Flying knight stabbing a guy in a balloon. Works. Okay. All right, and Arcane Surge is a Zinch thing. Let's me get some mana back that I've used this battle. And we're having everybody rush in. Let's check on these dudes. They're still fighting that blimp. Afterward, I want you to go for that guy. Uh, are there any more arch? Yeah, right there. Blast sideways through that. Ooh, that was a juicy one. Okay, the balloon must have died. They're on to the next troops now. We're still trying to get everyone in here. This is going to clip my trolls, but it took out way more archers, so it's fine. Uh, I would like to give my Doom Knights a chance to rest and their shields to come back. Let's see if we can get them to leave combat for a minute. Uh, where is this guy? One time per battle can cast this for free. Golden Hounds. It's basically a, a blender move. Flame through the archers. That didn't do much damage. Not really sure why, but it did not do much damage. Come on, guys. Push in, push in, push in, push in. There's still a clog at the door. Uh oh. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, you gotta back up. 
I just realized that uh, they've got a lot more troops over here that I thought than I thought was back there shooting my Doom Knights. That's no good. Have you come over here and deal with these guys, and that'll get you down to the ground so they're not getting shot as much. Okay, Arcane Surge gives us more mana. And let's see. Are they in range? Yes, they are. Oh, they did not like that. That was a good hit. Finally gotten most of the melee troops into the area. Let me see if I can get the flamers in here to do some damage. Uh, Mucky can get... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There is no source there distraction. Yeah, no. If you get a tooth pulled, and then there's a clot there, um, you know, like a clot of blood, and, and you, you you use a straw, then your mouth makes a suction, and you can pop the clot out, and then you start bleeding. Um, I had a root canal. They did not forbid me from straws, but I was supposed to be careful with like sugar, uh, sugary stuff coming in contact with my teeth. So I was using the straw mainly to make soda, which I am hooked on, uh, essentially skip my teeth and just touch my tongue. Just go straight to the tongue. Fast forward to the tongue. That was it. Oh, I just realized the uh, second army uh, just, it, like, they got here at some point and they've been just waiting outside for orders. Well. Raining metal. quite the clog here. Oh, he finally hit me with an AoE. I didn't realize he had one. It's pretty weak, though, so a little level. Trying to break through this barricade here. Wait, what is this thing? Jade Lion. Oh, that's cool. It's just pink flame right up that hill. Uh, it hit a lot of targets, but I think those guys were pretty decently armored, so it didn't do a lot of damage. Alright, Arcane Surge again. Arcane Surge is one of the reasons I love playing Zinch. They, um, this gives them more mana. Other, other people, if I played them, would be out of mana by now. Oh, wow, dude, this guy, this hero just lost half its health because of the flamers. Um, Arcane Surge lets Zinch keep casting spells. So it basically lets me hit the buttons that my, my brain makes the fun juice for, like, more often. Take those archers out. Uh, you guys. Do that and then come here. Actually, you guys go kill that guy. Don't let him get away. Uh, let's do raining metal right there.
Okay, the enemy Lord Dine. At this point, I think they're gonna surrender soon. I'm feeling pretty comfy. I'm gonna start turning the game speed up. Dude, this Jade Lion is sturdy. Like, it's in the middle of my army and it's taking forever for it to die. Uh, why can I not have him with retreat? sure I like how they've got a bunch of dudes here trying to physically stop us and the trolls are just pushing them out of the way move no you move nice uh okay we've gotten all the lords and heroes so there's no point that I know of to drag out the battle so I'll just end it there Alright, I don't think we had any losses. Remember, it said on auto I was going to lose like three stacks of units. Uh, hero did 20,000. The, well, the the pink flame hero did 20k. The uh, reigning metal guy did 13k. Uh, the doom knights might have done a lot. Where are they? They got 258 kills. Dude, the, the flamer just melting that one hero that got past my whole front line. I'm like, oh, oh the flamer is still here. And half his health gone. I was like, holy crap. See, 20k damage still. Where's the Doom Knights? 18k. Yeah. They did freaking good. They did work. Uh, okay. Sack, raise, or occupy. I think if I occupy, this becomes a real... Si it did. Okay, thank God. Alright. So, the guys I'm playing, they've got this... Uh, oh, Potion of Healing. Nice. Um, that's really, For those who don't know, in this game, the Potion of Healing is a magic item, and you can use it once per fight, and it's a huge heal. So that's actually quite nice to have on an important character. Uh, so, for example, like, this was a town, this gate through the wall, and it does nothing for me other than it has a little standing army, so it's a pain for other people to deal with. But it's not economically helping me at all. So I could have just as easily burned it to the ground, and I wouldn't have cared either way. However, this I do want, because this does have economy. It also has spice camp. It makes spice. It also gives a bonus to Chaos Trolls and Manticores across the entire map for you. Weird. I've never seen something like that before. What is this? Requires it to be max level, though. Occupied Celestial Palace angers all of Cathay. 5% <laughs> income to all buildings faction-wide. Oh, wow. That's like the Tree of Ages. I did not know about that. Um, okay. All right, so I think we get the growth now to double the growth here and then get the eco as soon as it hits level two. All right, so this guy leveled up. Um... <laughs> what is this? Leadership aura, vigor loss. I think I want... I don't think he has any AoE, does he? Soul Blight is a nice debuff. Aspect of the Dread Knight is a buff to your troops. Doom and Darkness is a minus leadership for the enemy. Yeah, you need F Fate of Bajuna is big damage to a single target. Um, is this the one with the Laughing Skull? Yeah, it is. And then Purple Son of Xerxes is big AoE damage, but it moves randomly, and sometimes that will screw you up. But, yeah, it's like a moving black hole that wanders around after you summon it. Um, let's see. So we're dying. If you go into raid stance, how much movement do you lose? 25% less movement. Um, okay. I'm wondering if I should up his, like, raiding ability. 
I've never really done anything with that. Uh, increase XP, gain 10% for units when fighting against the forces of order. Server die, recruitment minus 5%. Yeah, I'll try this. I, I want to go down this line down here, so I'll do that for now. All right, um, the metal it hero, and I already corrupted him to Zinch. Um, let's see, what does this do? That's a missile resist. Um, metal shifting it bonuses all nearby allies' weapons whenever you cast a spell for thirteen seconds. We'll get that because when I use him for the raining metal sometimes. The power of Zinch. Sound like he said stench. Okay. Let's get Infernal Champion and go for thick skin. Get more armor on this guy. Come in. You must improve. Okay. So we got this stuff done. We got a bit more eco now. Uh this dude. 37% chance to mess with that. Though the those, those are not abandoned. Yeah, Skaven Corruption. These are Skaven. There's rats under there. Alright. Hmm. You dare. Forward unto slaughter. 57% just take tech there. Do that. Uh. He critically failed and was wounded in the attempt. Oh my god. I lost him for five turns. I'm quite upset about that. He tried to steal a book and he hurt himself. I foresee okay. destruction. Alright. Uh no, I don't wish to upgrade Kome. Um can I hmm. It's weird that I can't do like a vassal down here. Like I've got a vassal over there. And I was able to give him some of this stuff, but I can't do it down here. I'm not sure when or how you get a vassal down here. Okay, end turn. Approach the twisted twins. Uh, got a message from the rats. Pay you 300 gold to not attack me, they say. Um... That's not a lot of money. Hmm. If I take it, I can then focus all my attention here. For now. All right. Uh, well, you know, if I if I don't take it, I could then hit the rats on either, like either the next turn or the turn after. If I do take it, I would be moving my forces westward to deal with stuff over here. Hmm. I think I don't take it. I wonder if we can get a decent enough army on our second lord to have him actually doing damage all on its own. Uh, Constructor. Infernal March. Nice. More movement speed. Okay, what do we want now? Demonic Pact. Max active gives plus one. Uh, cause fear for aspiring champions to undivide chosen units. All authority plus one. Unlocks Warband upgrades Chaos Knights. Enables magical attacks for Chaos Knights. Chaos Knights. Ooh, so you, you put them on horses. Okay. Um, let's get this. This is only three turns, and this will give us a buff. All. all right. Can we recruit anything for this guy? We could get him another Marauder. By the Eldritch, I see. Mm, does their upkeep change much if I make them... I could leave them... What is it called? Um, not Zinch? Uh, undivided. I could leave them undivided. There's still some decent stuff here. Gorby's Chariots. 